My name is Katie Woolery. I'm the Assistant Animal Care Director at Sonoma County Wildlife Rescue. I've been here um, a little over three and a half years, so it'll be four years in April, which means I've gone through three baby seasons. It's kind of how you gauge your time in the wildlife rescue industry. Um, here we focus on uh, rehabilitation and release of sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife. And my main job is uh, working in the hospital. Um, I do most of the initial intakes of the animals when they come in. So we kind of assess uh, what their needs are. If they need a vet visit, wound care, bandaging, if they do need humane euthanasia, we're lucky to be able to provide that. Um, and I also do a lot of the networking and communication with other wildlife centers and other um, uh, organizations that we work with to get our work done. Charlie was a victim of the Thomas fire. Both him and two other bears had their paw pads burned and they took part of a medical experiment, sort of a revolutionary, sort of a very new medical experiment using fish uh, tilapia uh, skin on their paw pads to help them regrow their skin. And it eventually worked. Um, it was something very, very um, edge of the field when it happened. Um, and it was very, very lucky that it worked out. Um, so we eventually ended up keeping Charlie after the Thomas fires, and he's something of a medical marvel now. They will have the volunteers doing a lot of the hands-on care. So we always make sure to, uh, before anybody does any of the hands-on care, we do a very thorough training with them on um, the safety aspects of it. So depending on what species it is, what age it is, uh, will be different uh, pro uh, personal protective equipment that will be used for them. So it could be anything for a very small, easy to handle animal, latex gloves up to the big thick gloves. If you have an animal that has its adult teeth in, it's going to defend itself and just the, um, I would say the kind of psychological aspect of handling the animal because when you have an animal, the more I always try to teach people, the more you hesitate, the more it thinks that it's growling and puffing up is working. So it's just going to get louder and more puffed up. So number one thing I try to teach people is not to hesitate. You know, you have your plan of action and you go for it. But at the same time, I always tell people not to do anything that they are uncomfortable with. So that's where all of the training and being there to back people up comes in. And I get a lot of enjoyment out of seeing people grow and progress and get more comfortable handling animals and that kind of a thing. But of course, it's always in the back of our mind to be careful when we send people out to uh, weigh the skunks when they're um, in their final stages of conditioning. Yes, they can and will spray. If you handle them um, you know, slowly and quietly, the chances are a lot less. But we'll always send people out with goggles on, with the gloves, with a sheet, anything that they need to feel comfortable to handle the animal.